get hit. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. The world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's Temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you?
Gotta get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! was unpleasantly cold. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. The mighty gods of Earthrealm. You befoul these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friend. You abandoned them to their deaths. I returned them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share. And my lord himself shall witness your fall. Sure. 
Nightwolf. Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. No face can do that. Fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. Sergeant, what is it? That the elevator? Yes. The elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? You guys stay here. Close the door. Open the reef!
You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. Jensei! Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! That is mine! Ready? As always. I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. Fall from grace. 
fallen elder god. Johnny Cage, the amulet! Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny... Did we...? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The Chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult, bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. <laughs> How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a Halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. Your beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. And I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are going to retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The Rebels win, those Accords will be history. What's the expression? 
It's not worth the dirt on my shoe. Kotal Khan has always bargained with you fairly, you know. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's gotta be worth at least... 50. I must attack her. Immediately. End this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. Make way for Kotal Khan! Move! The Tarkatans are in position. We await your order. It is given, dearest Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an emperor... False emperor! ...requires power. Power you have, Melina. And won't use. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. You said a mouthful. Melina's given me twice that to take you out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Melina's given me twice then to take you out. Ha ha ha! 
worth the dirt on my shoe. I'm pleased you remember me, Koata. I will never forget those who freed Melina. She vowed to create a free Edinia, something you refused to do. A united outworld stands strong against its enemies. It will never be united under your rule. Your rebellion is all that prevents it. to trust Melina. Miserable snake! Bro, not day! Another Adenian, the supposed half god. Who got here? I am a son of Argus. I was not merely declared a god by befuddled commoners, Bulak. Surely Melina suspects your true intentions, son of Argus. <laughs>
Your sacrifice honors me. That should silence you. You won't touch him again. But I will. As the heir to my father, Shao Kahn, I, Melina, Kahnam of Outworld, order your execution! execution this day. You will atone for your descent, Melina. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge. <laughs> A mere cub, grown to be a jaguar. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. The forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. 
It is time to entertain our guests. All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant... You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. more like your mother than you think. Ah. 
Your power should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Kenshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. Not yet. Huh? Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes, military decorum is important in your family. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our history share a dark chapter. Didn't see that coming? Judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. False bravado does not suit you. Any ideas? Sub-Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. 
Yes, I suppose so. Chuo, Dang Jin. That worked. This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn. I should have seen it. You and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short. So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Lin Kuei shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. When did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees from the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. <sighs> Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Li Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. <laughs> Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Lee Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? Shell in archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. 
Li Mei has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. You can always trust an outworlder. But if Outworld's our ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance. Not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the Khan, I'll tell him you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. Quick learner. for a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes.
be embarrassed. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blaze. You interfere with Outworld Matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Reiko Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Not far enough.
let me go. Blood of Kung Lao. Descendant of the great Kung Lao. A common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple and walk out again without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger. Make you amenable to reason. And make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin. Like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has- She employs Shinnok's amulet against me? The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care? When Outworld was offered no participation- We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under Outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of Outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. You have won nothing. Merely a few more seconds of breath. Now, Emperor? The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna. 
Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Laura, can you not perceive? I am indebted to them. You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. Stay with Kotal Khan. We'll figure out next steps once I've got Kano locked down. Yes, ma'am. Cage out. He's still here. I can feel it. Report. One of the refugees found her near the north perimeter. That's one of Kano's neckties. Inform Lee May. Tell her we're investigating. Raiden, what'd you find? Shinnok's amulet has been stolen, replaced by an exquisite duplicate. Damn it. Something is wrong. I will speak to you once I... Raiden? Raiden! Lieutenant, I need you to take a team to Fort Charles. Check in with Raiden and report back. What's going on? What's your update from Colonel Flagg? He said, why are you bothering me? And I said, because my ex-wife is a pain in the... Where are you going? You can't just walk away. I'm in this too. Not my decision. Thank your buddy, Secretary Blake. This is what split us up in the first place. You disappear in your work. Never time for me and Cassie. I had responsibilities. Sorry you couldn't be the center of attention. There was a time when you cared more about your family than your job, General. Nope. No evil sorcerers in here. Would you get serious? Quan Chi needs to clean up his man cave. It's cleaner than yours. You're comparing me to Quan Chi? Only in terms of cleanliness. This. I wouldn't do that. Ah, oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? You wish for adventure? You shall have it. Fire! I have no need of your soldiers, but you and Mr. Cage will serve me well, once you are dead. Don't know when to quit, do you?
Not as tough as you look. Quan Chi, you've lost. A delay, Miss Blade. The inevitable still beckons. Johnny! Will not happen. I'll get you out of here. You'll be fine. Don't know. Blood's supposed to be on the inside. Raiden! I must reverse his spell. It's working! Essen Salta! Ba You cannot save him. Your weak Thunder God, Johnny Cage, is mine. No, he's mine. Save him! I've got this son of a bitch.
you were. That wasn't even close to what you deserve. Sonya Blade, the link with Quan Chi is not completely severed. Not a problem. The others are restored to the living. By coupling Quan Chi's dark magics to my own, I was able to restore their souls. Is he gonna make it? Haven't I told you? Uh, he's a god. Huh. You scared the shit out of me. And <laughs> they said I couldn't do horror films. <sighs> He's gone? How did he... We gotta go after him. He can wait. Right now, we need to get you and the others back to Earthrealm. Name. Rayen Edu Keire. Thanks. All right. You seem to know this Kano intimately. Not the word I'd use, but yes. I chased him for years until he escaped to Outworld after Shinnok's invasion. Why would he return now? All that matters is he's... Caught. Gotcha. Are you lost? <laughs> Hello, love. Been a while. Not long enough. This is General Blade. I need MPs to my location immediately. Oh, let's keep this between friends. A trade. Info for freedom. I don't negotiate with scumbags. Well then, if Mother won't play nice, Maybe daughter will. If you ever. Back off? And all's well. Piss me off. And Cassie's gonna meet Uncle Kano. I swear to God I'll kill you.
I swear to God, I'll kill you. How's your blood taste? No, I'm not done with you. All right. All right. Get off me. Sonia, ease up. You killed me. Never fight. Amulet. Move, move, move. Sonia, we need that info. Sonia, don't make this another thing you'll regret. Talk! The Quatan jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. You have new information? From Earthrealm? Kano talked. Gave us the details on Melina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her. But this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Stealth is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Aurora, we will grant their request. And I will finally be rid of Melina. This one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Like others, this one is not pleased with Melina as color, but it is not clear your crew will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen, and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling, and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that- Ah, there they are. Three of your fellow counselors, whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only you would hear our counsel. As war with Netherrealm looms, I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers! You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this, 
Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you! I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! <laughs> this one serves Nelina no longer! <laughs> ah! You will defend your Empress! Our creator Shao Kahn is dead. We will serve whom we choose. Shao Kahn conquered my realm. I owe him my loyalty. I honor his will. Your last ally has left you. Take her away. We would serve the new ruler of Outworld. Then you serve Kotal Khan. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish, you fill the void. Exactly my plan. <laughs> <laughs> A shame you will not see its fruition. <laughs>
Leaving without your friend, Devora? Your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Kaitian do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. Now two Italians will die. I know you said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. Let us go. Step aside. That is really disturbing. Devora! This one knew you would not stray far from the amulet. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was it for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life!
this one will enjoy your death. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. You do not deserve death by an Emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy First Minister. Rebellion is over. Well, thanks for that. I know I'll never eat again. With your leave, we're gonna head back to Earthrealm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. <gasps> the hell are you doing? Earthrealm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that Accords you- The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kotokan's possession. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld Throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our Lord. This one lives to serve Shilok. You have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Anki. from our world. Shinnok will soon be freed. We make for my fortress. Is there a problem? Two problems. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one this... You didn't come here to discuss farm implements. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. My help? I know. I don't have any right you to... You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen, I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs, I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. So what is it you need help with? The outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. He shows his face after 25 years. 
Just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Cage. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the cell? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all of this? Outworld. With Cassie's team recovering the amulet. <sighs> She'll be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from him soon. So what you guys think? Are they gonna kill us? They would have done it by now. Unless Kotal Khan's planning on having us as guests at the Coliseum. Well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Me, at least. Tough being the General's daughter? <sighs> you have no idea. I do. My great whatever grandfather took down Shang Tsung, saved Earthrealm. How often do you think that comes up at family gatherings? That was 600 years ago. And yet, you'd think it happened yesterday. <laughs> no pressure there. I've trained all my life. Can fight my way out of nearly anything. But I still feel like a second-rate cage. <laughs> At least you grew up with people expecting things from you. I thought you and your dad were best friends. <laughs> now? He was a no-show for a long time. I can relate. What was that like growing up, having an ex-revenant father? Jen. No, I'm asking. Couldn't have been easy. He was just a bit overprotective. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. My dad came home with a broken jaw. <laughs> I got this. You've got what exactly? Trust me. Away from the bars. Overloaded his senses. It only works at short range. Being the son of a telepath has its perks. I didn't used to think so.
Well done. You are now Chujin. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chujin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But the clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father. I don't have a father. Yes, you do. One who's proud of you. A Chujin in record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. Get up. I want to knock you down again. Takeda, cease! Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. <sighs> Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon. Together. This is Devorah's work. No argument there. Only she could create wounds like these. That Devorah's full of surprises. Question is, is she working with anyone else? What is it? Damn, he's made us. Okay, guys, standard diamond formation. Takeda, you're on point. Jackie, bring up the rear. Kung Jin, air cover. You got it. The Earth Realmers. 
before I free them. <laughs> Not a gasu. One down, two to go. When we get back, you're teaching me that. Deal. Go help with Ermac. I got this. Think you can handle me alone? You're either brave or foolish. Challenge would be nice. Brave or foolish, I'm alive. See what's worth learning in there. So many 
minds. Trapped inside. We exist to serve, bound by Shao Kahn's magic. Chaos. The voices. We are many. You are one. Your abilities pale before us.
avoid the pain. Give up. I think I've had enough of Outworld. I'm starting to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. It won't be out long. That shockwave fried the leads. Then let's get going. We're almost out of time. What are they doing here? Looking for the amulet, I bet. We have to tell them about Shinnok. Call a truce. Bring them to me! Or not. The woods. Come on. Look out! You hurt him? You answer to me. Crawl back under your rock, reptile. Ah. Stop! You need water. Ah. Lean your head back. Ah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah it's, it's fuzzy, but... Ah. Better? Beautiful. I've got our Mac. You 
you a spawn of Jackson Briggs. And damn proud of it. I know what you did to him. We took your father's arms. We will take all of you. That was for you, Dad. No more tricks. Just a straight up beatdown. You're losing. Two for one. I'll take it. We know Devora is here. Where is the amulet? Koro Khan, the situation has changed. Do not fling your spittle at me. You tell him? Not yet. He needs to know Is he? I will kill you both. Shinnok's been freed. He's at Raiden's Sky Temple. He's already infected Earthrealm's life force. The heavens boil. 
Earthrealm is lost. Not if we hang together. I will appease Shinnok. Bring him your heads. Gain time to bolster Outworld's defenses. <laughs> You need to help us, Kotal Khan. It is too late for Earthrealm. Shinnok is now its master. Enjoying yourself so far? your mom about that you should have been with us that's enough fuck me I don't know about you guys, but I'm living the dream. You have our dreams. Chato, you die tonight. Nita! stood together against formidable odds. Lesser warriors would not have fared so well. Thanks, Grandmaster. I will remain here to push Kotal Khan back to Outworld. Proceed to the Sky Temple. Earthrealm's fate lies with you. Lord Shinnok is nearly finished. Soon the Jinzei's corruption will be irreversible. The invasion can then proceed. Raiden and his allies would be unable to offer resistance. Once the realm falls, our path to victory will be clear. Advise Lord Shinnok that the Oni and Oroki are ready. At his command, we'll unleash them on Earthrealm. Have you found Raiden's portal to the heavens? Yes, but his ward's protected. We can't break through. That is unacceptable. After Earthrealm is destroyed, we must complete Lord Shinnok's vengeance, invade the heavens, and destroy the Elder Gods. Come. Make war on the heavens? If Shinnok can take down the Elder Gods... End of the universe. Got it. Come, Lao. To see him like this. We'll all be hanging around the Netherrealm water cooler if we don't pull this off. Come on. Takeda! Has your mother ever told you what I did to her friends? Kill them all in the blink of an eye. And your own daughter. You proud of that? We are bonded in death. You will join us. And I will give you a proper upbringing. 
Maybe next time. Nice offer, Mommy Dearest, but I'll pass. I owe you one. I'll remember that. Back off, princess. You think mere words can stop me? Thanks for the assist. Anytime. Tick tock, ladies. You're not killing anyone. Help Jackie! Messed you up pretty bad. Uh, great bedside manner. I can fight. Jackie? It's nothing. Just like Kurdistan. Boot it up! You two go. Jackie and I'll handle them. What? We'll just slow you down. Forget it. Damn it. Keep your heads down. We'll see you on the other side. They taste your flesh, burrow deep. Inside you, they will grow all your innards. By the gods. Dad! Father and daughter. 
Will they taste the same? the bug, I'm the windshield. Him, you're gonna go through. run in the family. Your father's power will not save you. You cannot hope to survive.
vote to survive. You got caged. Shimasu. Uh, what you call Shimasu? 
Can I wait? No walks. Poolside. Umbrella drinks. <laughs> Deal. Is he alive? Barely. I'll help him. Help your father. And to think, I was worried when you started dating. Afraid I'd come home with someone like you? <laughs> Funny, beautiful, saves the world. My work here is done. This way. In here. Isolate Shinnok and Devorah, and get the medic. We'll fix you up. Help is on the way. You should have seen Cass. Wipe the floor with Shinnok. <laughs> I believe it. And you, you did a great job with your team, Johnny. You hear that, Cass? She called me Johnny. I thought she might. Too long have I allowed Earthrealm to endure the horrors of war. Time and again we've defeated our enemies, but we've exacted no retribution, demanded no remuneration. What have we gained for our mercy? More intrigue, more senseless violence. As the new rulers of the Nether Realm, heed me. No longer will I simply defend Earthrealm. I will seek out and destroy all who threaten it. No mercy will be shown, no quarter given.
Shinnok was an elder god. Impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death. 